Hello, dears, and welcome to Al Husseini Virtual Lab Pathology Talks, Tips, and Practical Tips. Today, I'm going to share with you a very interesting and rare, recently described entity of gastric adenocarcinoma with enteroblastic differentiation. So, this is a 63 year old male patient who presented with, uh, with abdominal pain and was found to have a gastric mass. And this is the um, intermediate power magnification of the tumor. This is the normal gastric mucosa. And this here grows is the abnormal growth. As you can see, sheet-like growth pattern with cells with hyperchromatic nuclei. And what is really, uh, um, really eye-catching is the clearing of the cytoplasm. And this is another uh, focus in which we have groups of tumor cells with hyperchromatic nuclei, and again, a clearing of the cytoplasm. And a third focus, and on high power magnification, in this area, you can see the abundance of mitosis the hyperchromasia, and there is a tendency or uh, in some of the tumor cells to form or to contain these globules within the cytoplasm. Now, PAS-PAS diastase shows that the clearing in the cytoplasm is because of glycogen content. So there is some uh, granular positivity with the PAS stain that was digestible with the uh, PAS diastase. And mac 5 a which is the immunostochemical marker that we use frequently to confirm the um, uh, gastric origin of an adenocarcinoma. This is the normal gastric mucosa, which tends to show the strong cytoplasmic positivity. And this is the area where the tumor is, and the tumor is completely negative. But surprisingly, the tumor was cell for a strongly positive, a strong nuclear staining of the tumor cells for cell four, while the normal gastric mucosa is completely negative. And alpha fetoprotein is also positive in the tumor cells, as you can see, strong positivity in the cytoplasm. Now, remember, because alpha fetoprotein is usually secreted to the serum, there is usually some background even in the normal tissue. This is a reflection of the uh, um, serum elevated alpha fetoprotein. So we have always to be uh, careful when we interpret alpha fetoprotein because in order to call it positive, we have to have a strong cytoplasmic immune reactivity. And the glipicani 3 also was positive in the tumor cells. Now, this uh, a combination of immunostochemical stains in a, a tumor that arises in the stomach is really consistent with the recently described entity of enteroblastic carcinoma or a carcinoma with enteroblastic uh, differentiation. Now, the issue with this tumor is several folds. Number one, it's that it is an aggressive type of carcinoma and many patients would really succumb to the diagnosis because of the aggressive nature of the tumor. Number two is that looking at the serum alpha fetoprotein, usually there, there is elevation of the serum alpha fetoprotein and because of the immunohistochemical uh, uh, staining pattern and the elevated alpha uh, fetoprotein, germ cell tumor has to be excluded, which was the case in, in our uh, um, shared case, but there was no evidence of germ cell tumor anywhere um, um, in the body. And remember that this occurrence in the stomach is consistent with this diagnosis rather than the diagnosis of a germ cell tumor. I I hope you find this tip useful in your daily practice. Thank you.